iOS and Android are the two most widely used smartphone operating systems. Both these operating systems are more than capable to do everything required from a modern smartphone. However, there are some things one operating system does better than the other. In today's video, we are going to talk about five things Android does better than iOS, which as an iOS user, I would love to see in the upcoming iOS version. So sit back, relax, and let me tell Hello ladies and lads, welcome to Let Me Tech. I am your host Sufyan. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications of our upcoming content which includes at least one live video and that will be very soon. Meanwhile, let's see what Android does better than iOS. First of all, let's talk about customization. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you are definitely an iOS user. Let's take a small tour in history and talk about iOS home screen. As you can see, since the release of iOS, the home screen has had the same springboard. You cannot put your icons anywhere on screen even with all the space available. Let me show you what I mean. So if I want to move this icon and place it around here, I cannot do that. I know that the springboard works fine, but come on, it has been more than a decade and when we look over at Android, it is highly customizable. You can set your icons the way you want them and you can download and apply custom themes and icon packs. Long story short, there is no doubt that Android is way, way more customizable than iOS and Apple should do something about this. If rumors are true, then it seems that this will be something that Apple will be updating in iOS 14. That is something that we will discuss in our upcoming iOS 14 video. So make sure you are subscribed for that. The next thing that we need to talk about is split screen. This is something that is available in Android for a while now. As the name suggests, you can run two apps or even three apps in case of Galaxy Fold by splitting the screen real estate between those apps. With phones getting larger and larger, or at least the screen size increasing by thinner bezels, iOS definitely needs some sort of split screen mode. iPad OS does have it and this is time to add it in iOS as well. Let me simply show you what I mean. Let's go over to YouTube. So only 20 to 30% screen is being used and this 70% screen is available. If I am able to use some sort of split screen, I can add my notes app here so I can write my notes while enjoying content on YouTube. By the way, don't forget to check out our Android tips and tricks video that should be available in the cards above and also in the description below. The next thing we need to talk about is notifications. With iOS 12, Apple introduced group notifications, which Android has had for years. In iOS, you can let the OS decide to group notifications automatically for you, or you can set it to group on app basis. Even with all that, iOS notifications are way behind. In a recent tweet, Max Weinbach from XDA developers summarized this situation by stating Apple should simply copy Android when it comes to notifications. That's it. Apple should not try to fix their own management system. Rather, they should copy what Android does and that is the best way. And I completely agree with that. Why even Android 10 is way ahead of iOS when it comes to notification management, Android 11 takes it one step further. Let me show you what I mean. So let's have a look at my notifications. So as you can see that iOS decided to group some of my Instagram notifications, but other notifications are single. So each of them is a separate notifications and this should not be this way. When we have a look at Android, all these notifications are grouped properly and that is how it should be. iOS need to fix this and this should be fixed right now. I hope that with iOS 14, Apple provides better management for our notifications. By the way, thank you so much, Umar, for helping me in this video. I owe you one. That's no problem, man. No issues. This may not seem that important, but trust me, it is. There are a couple of things that the native phone app for Android does way better than iOS. And let's talk about them one by one. First of all, the incoming call alert for iOS needs a redesign. It should not be a screen in the first place. It should be an alert that should not cover the whole screen. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you are taking notes and you do not want to get disturbed and all of a sudden you receive a call on your iOS device. 
as you can see, you can only accept or decline this call. You have no way of ignoring this call. You can swipe up, but you cannot ignore it. All you can do is decline. And that seems rude. There should be a way that it should only pop up as an alert so you can ignore it, complete your line or complete your sentence or do what you are doing. And then you call the person back or you accept the call. This is something that needs to update. Let me show you what happens on Android. As you can clearly see, the call pop ups as an alert and the person can simply complete his line, complete whatever he is doing and then accept the call or he can wait for the call to finish and then call the person back. That is how it should be. It's not only me, many other people, many other developers have already said it again and again that this phone screen needs to be updated. It has been way too long for this to be a full screen. Incoming call is one of the problems. The second problem is when you are calling someone. For example, me, I am not good at numbers and I cannot remember all the number of all the people I know. So for example, if I remember a small portion of number, for example, 0288, there is no way for me to find a contact based on that number. Now, on the other hand, let's see what Android does. As you can clearly see that in Android, once you start typing a number, the OS starts filtering the numbers out for you. So if you remember a small portion of the number, it will filter that number out and you can call that number directly. That is very handy and I desperately need something like that in iOS. Hopefully we have something similar in iOS 14. You guys should have seen this one coming, right? This is the battle of smart assistant, Siri and Google. While Siri is the first ever smart assistant, which was introduced in iPhone 4S back in 2011, as of right now, it is hard to say it is the best, especially with so many advancements in Google smart assistant. We will not go in detail and compare these two, but here is something you need to know. In an experiment, it was found that Google Assistant answered 88% questions correctly, while Siri could only score 75%. While Siri outdid Alexa and Cortana, it is definitely way too behind Google. All in all, Siri needs to step up its game. Hopefully, we will see some improvements in Siri in upcoming iOS versions so it can catch up to Google Assistant. While we are definitely not having a comparison between these two smart assistants, let's have a quick speed test. So let's call Siri. I'm here. What is the weather like? It's currently clear in 32 degrees. So it took a little while. Let's see how Android does. What's the weather like? Currently in Lahore, it's 104 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be clear with a forecasted high of 106 and a low of 82. As you can see, Google Assistant is definitely faster than Siri. It's not only this instance. If you use both assistants in some way, or if you start comparing these both assistants, you'll definitely see that Siri lags behind. That is all for today. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Do let us know in the comments below if you think there is something Android does better than iOS that we missed in this video and that should have been added. We will definitely be making a video about things that iOS does better than Android. It should be coming very soon after WWDC. So stay tuned for that. If you have any suggestions for that video, do leave them in the comments below. We'll definitely consider them. Take care of yourself and others around you. We'll catch you in the next one. Over and out.